Hey there. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to go over the Canvas course with you for our Math 344 Linear Algebra course. just want to kind of familiarize you with the structure. It's not a very complicated Canvas course, and I, I tried to design it uh, so that it's easy for you to stay on task as we move through the various assignments and course components of our course this fall. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over and take a look at the Canvas page. Uh, I'm looking at this with student view, so there's a purple bar on the bottom that you're not going to see when you're looking at it, but you're familiar, I'm assuming, with Canvas. Uh, uh, the usual navigation tabs over here, course syllabus, went over that in a separate video. I'll show you what I mean, how I've organized the course modules. They correspond to weeks, and you can look at a list of our assignments as they grow. There's a discussion forum. It's a great place for you to post your questions. Uh, instead of maybe you try to get in the habit, instead of writing me, uh, uh, you know, a Canvas email, if you write that same question to a discussion forum, one of your classmates can chime in or one of your classmates might have the same question that you do and it's helpful for people. So I'm hoping that that discussion forum is going to get used uh, as we move through the course. It's a great place for sort of conversations to evolve naturally, uh, not, not only about homework problems, but interesting things that come up in the class. Uh, I'll always be recording your scores. Uh, some of you know me, I, I like to grade things quickly and keep your grade book so you should never be unaware of uh, how you're doing and the various components in the course. And then there's a list of our classmates there uh, that you can contact people. Uh, uh, the home page here, this is what you'll see when you log into the Canvas page. Uh, I tried to kind of vertically organize it so that it looks nice on a phone or a tablet as well. Uh, so I'm always anxious to hear your feedback about sort of how the look and feel of the page, how navigable it is, if I can fix something and make it easier to come here and use these resources, I want to do that. Uh, on the right hand side of the page, you got a to do list using a web browser anyway, not, not the phone app, but it'll always keep you apprised of sort of what's coming up in the, in the horizon. Uh, this to do list will grow. I don't have all the assignments built into the Canvas yet. When the page, when the course starts, uh, about the first two weeks will be complete, and then I'll just be adding a week at a time as we go. So it's always going to be current uh, or accurate, rather, at least two weeks in the future of, of any point that we're at. Okay, so let's look at the structure of the page here. Uh, that's kind of the highlights of what you see when you come in. So we're gonna meet on Zoom. Uh, uh, we're gonna meet on Zoom. So you're gonna need to know how to get a hold of me. So if you click on the, either this heading or this icon, there's the detailed information. Our class will meet three times a week at 3 p.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3 p.m. Uh, I'm going to strongly encourage you to, to come to all of those meetings. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop short of requiring it. Uh, in addition to those Zoom meetings, I will make short and, and frankly pretty terse uh, 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 videos about covering the material as we're going. So if you have to miss a class for some reason, if you have a technical issue, maybe your internet goes out or something happens, uh, or I hope it's not the case, but you just have kind of a perpetual ongoing conflict, there's going to be a YouTube video there as a backup. Uh, the YouTube video is not going to be kind of a replacement for the class. The class will have more interaction, more discussion, people asking questions. I'll go slower. I'll be a little bit more detailed. Uh, if you've seen some of my YouTube videos from previous courses, I, I kind of get into robot mode and I talk really fast. And so, but you can use the video interface to, you know, speed, slow it down and stop it when you need to. Okay, so, so the class is going to meet three days a week. Zoom, you log in by clicking this link, or if you prefer to use your phone and give it a meeting ID, you can do that. HSU requires me to password protect these things, so linalge, lowercase, is the way you'll uh, enter the waiting room for our Zoom class. Okay, I'm also going to have office hours five days a week at noon. I'm also available by appointment if you let me know, but I'm going to start with this five days a week at noon. Uh, uh, the office hour is a separate meeting ID and password. Okay, so if I were you, I would just get in the habit of coming. You want to talk to me, you come to Canvas, you hit that Zoom link on the home page, you come here, you click one of these two links, depending on what time it is. There I am. I'm on Zoom. Okay, so that's how you get a hold of me with the Zoom meetings. Uh, I'm going to skip over this video lectures part. That's the structure of the course. And let me just hit some of these highlights. Uh, it's a required text for the course, and I need you to have it immediately. All of the reading, all of the homework, all of the studying, this thing is going to be right at your fingertips for the next 16 weeks of your life. Uh, you can purchase the text. There's a link to an Amazon, various options, renting, blah, blah, blah. The, the, the publisher itself has an e-text that you can get for around 45 bucks. But I found uh, uh, this absolutely free, it's Google searchable, so I believe it's a public document. 
so-called international version of our text. It's incomplete in the sense that it's missing chapter seven, but we're not gonna use chapter seven. So for our purposes, this freely downloadable PDF version of the text is completely sufficient. I checked it out, the page numbers are correct, the homework assignments are correct, the problems are the same, so you can use it. So, so given that it's available as a PDF download, uh, I'm just going to assume that everybody uh, uh, from the very first minute of this course on Monday, August 24th has the text. Okay, so there's a link there on the Canvas page for your convenience. You can navigate to that PDF. Okay, so that's the textbook. It's pictures there. It's what it looks like. The international covers cover, I believe, is a little different, but that's okay. Uh, technical tools. What do I have here? Um, this is kind of a hybrid class, right? Uh, we're not going to meet face to face, so you're going to have to give me some uh, homework, uh, homework assignments and exams. So you're going to do that by scanning handwritten work, I assume. You're free to typeset it if you know LaTeX or, or some other software and you want to typeset your homework and turn it in that way. It's perfectly fine, but I'm assuming that most of you are going to handwrite this stuff like you're used to in mathematics courses and then you need to digitize it. And to digitize it, you need to use some software. I've listed some things here. You don't have to use this. I personally think Apple's Notes or Notability. Notability is not free, but it's great. Apple's Notes is included on an iPhone. Those have very easy to use scanning apps, not just taking a picture, you know, but a scanning app in the sense that it figures out the edges of the document and converts it nicely into a, I'm going to be a stickler about this, single file, multiple page PDF documents. All right, maybe you're an Android user. Some students have told me about these things. You know something else, tell me about it. I'll add it to the page. All right, so, so but your technical tools in the sense of you're going to have to be able to trade documents electronically with me. Contact me. Uh, I, you know, you, you guys after last semester probably took some classes this summer. I think we're all pros at this by now, but if you have any, any questions, any concerns, any issues about how we're going to trade documents, let me know. Okay, I'm, I'm making this video too long, so I'm going to try to go faster. I'm going to use Mathematica a lot. I talked about this in the syllabus, so, so there's some information about how you can get Mathematica if you'd like to. Okay. So that's what I've got on the technical tools page. One more page. I hope this list will grow as we go external resources. Right now, I just have a link to the very cool YouTube channel, Three Blue and One Brown. If you don't already know about it, check it out. It's got a lot of fascinating, really well done videos. It has a series about linear algebra. It doesn't get into computation. These aren't like lecture videos or something like that, but he's, he's just giving you kind of a top level, usually geometric feel of like, what are these things we're talking about? So as we go through the course, I'll, I'll kind of point out specific ones, but I've just got this generic uh, link here for you. Check it out. Check out his other stuff too. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, and now back to the link I skipped over. So, so the modules. Uh, you can access them here uh, uh, or by video lectures and assignments. So what do I mean by a module? A module corresponds to a week. Okay, so, so when the course starts, there'll be two of these things and I'll just add a week as we go 15 weeks into the course. When we're done, there'll be 15 of these things. And each one, of course, consists of three days, a Monday and a Wednesday and a Friday, and I'll tell you what we're doing. So, so Monday the 24th is a course overview. 26th the Wednesday, we're gonna talk about section 1.2. Friday, we'll finish talking about it, okay, and so on. So, so that's the structure. Uh, most of these days are going to just consist of this. I'm going to have some learning objectives and then a link to that video lecture I talked about, the backup video lecture, the replacement of the in-class lecture. All right, so here you click on learning objectives. It tells you what are we doing? What's the purpose of that day? I'll tell you what a vector space is and, a, and about a very important example. Okay, these are navigable. There's, there's back and next and previous buttons. Here's the video lecture. It's just linked on YouTube. It's a public, uh, uh, I'll create a playlist called Math 344. You, you can access it directly if you want, but I think it's just convenient to come, come via Canvas. Okay, so that's mainly what a day is gonna look like. Uh, 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 Mondays and Fridays have a little bit extra. So each Monday, in addition to this learning objectives and video lecture, we don't have one on the course overview, of course, but, but other Mondays will have one. Uh, there's going to be a homework assignment. Uh, uh, that's just a link to the homework that's due that following Sunday at 11 p.m. In, or 11.59 p.m., right? So what does a homework assignment look like? It's just a list of problems. These are all referenced out of the text. It's very important that you have the text because otherwise something like section 1.2 number four doesn't mean anything to you. But you can flip to section 1.2, find the exercises, find problem number four, and you know what problem I'm talking about. 
in the in the homework uh, or the syllabus video, excuse me, I talked in detail about my expectations for homework. I'll continue talking about them because it's a big part of this course. In addition to the linear algebra and the mathematics, I'm trying to show you guys how to communicate professionally mathematics, so how to write well. So so we're going to talk a lot about that. But that's what a homework assignment looks like. I'll post them every Monday. Okay, so every Monday, sorry about that, every Monday there'll be a link to this homework assignment. It's also accessible here in the assignments tab. If you click on the assignments tab, you can see we've got all the assignments in the course uh, grouped by what kind of assignment they are, but you can always find them that Monday. You can find them in the course calendar. Okay, uh, Friday, I'll, 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 well, this one Monday also has this course overview quiz. I'm counting it as a uh, homework assignment, and it's just some questions about the syllabus in the Canvas page. Right, so, so watch these videos, check out the syllabus, uh, and that's just some sort of extra points I'm giving you so that I know that you, you read through this material. Fridays, uh, it's gonna have a learning objective and a video lecture link, but it's also gonna have something called a reflection. Okay, and what's a reflection? It's basically just a prompt where, I'll vary this a little bit, but not much. Uh, oh, oops, I don't have it open here yet, so you can't see it. Uh, but, but each week what I'll do is sort of prompt you with something like, um, you know, what is it that we did this week in this class? What, what concepts did you run into that were new? Tell me something that was new for you. Tell me something that you still have questions about and like what we could do, what I could do to help you try to start to, to resolve some of those questions. So it literally is what it sounds like. It's a chance for you just to sit down for a few minutes and sort of think back about like what happened to me this week uh, with respect to linear algebra, all right? So you can look at the course syllabus to see that those, core, those reflections, they're a component in your grade and I, and I hope you'll take it seriously. There's gonna be one per week and they'll always be due uh, on Sundays at, at midnight. All right, you can do it on Friday afternoon if you want or sometime over the weekend. All right, so uh, that's just a real quick tour of the course Canvas page. Uh, I'll end by saying I'm open to feedback. If you think there's some way I can organize this or put some information here that's not here, uh, I, I just want this thing to be useful to you so that you as a student in the class are always aware of what the expectations are in terms of what kinds of assignments are due, what kind of preparation you need to be doing, and how you're gonna be assessed on all of that activity. All right, so thank you for listening, and I will see you in class.